Welcome to this episode of Business Success with Doug Barra. And today, I want to really start to talk to you about this great new concept. And it's not a new concept in the world. It's a new concept for our team. Um, And the concept is lean. In today's episode, I'm going to talk to you about the concept of lean. And lean is... Uh, something I've known about for for a long time, but I've always considered it to be something that was for big corporations and it was something that took a whole lot of uh, knowledge and understanding and it wasn't something that in any way, shape or form was for a small business. And I've recently discovered a man named Paul Akers. Now, The first thing you want to understand about Paul Akers is he does not own a small business. Paul Akers owns a huge business. And he didn't get into lean when he was a small business. He got into lean when he was a big business. Um, But he was able to take his big business into a huge business using lean. And we discovered this uh, kind of by accident. Uh, As the pandemic hit, Uh, A lot of different people were doing different kinds of uh, online programs and uh, Jody was on an online program that was put together by Vern Harnish and in that program Paul Akers came on and he did a very quick presentation. These were all like five to ten minute presentations so they were very quick and he talked very quickly about lean and how lean is simple and fun and from that we went lean is simple and fun my understanding of lean is it's this whole process six sigma uh, you know you have to go and spend years learning it and understanding it and it was very complicated and all of this and it to me it was always like this yeah that's just another one of those corporate things that they pull out they it doesn't really provide anything for anybody uh, other than the you know the guys up in the top of of the of the corporate ladder Um, but what he said really intrigued us because one of the things that he said was that lean is not about corporate profits and i my first i kind of like huh and then we started learning about more about leans and what what we've discovered or actually i should say what i've discovered um i think i can talk for jody as well and i think i can talk for our whole team but what i've discovered is that what lean is all about is growing people and having those people help make the business and their job work for them now you might be thinking as a business owner what are you talking about why do i care whether or not the that person is making their job easier for them well the thing is that what happens is when people make the job easier for them they enjoy the job more uh, they make it easier to do so they can do more and they do more happily because it's easier to do so they're happier they're more productive and an end result which is nothing about what we're focusing on is that the business gets better all right and i know it's counterintuitive and quite frankly and this is where all of the the stuff that i ever learned about lean died was because they turned it into it's a way to make more profit and if you're focused on making more profit lean is never going to work so i'm going to say that again if you're focused on making more profit through lean Lean will never work because that's not what lean is about. It's a byproduct of doing lean, but lean is not about making more profit. Lean is about making sure that your team is growing and is making the job more uh, enjoyable, easier for themselves, making life easier for themselves. And it's not just about the job. That's the other piece right lean is not a something you do at work lean is a mindset that you get into that once you're in that mindset it makes a huge difference in your entire life all right now 
I know, all of this time, I'm talking about lean, I'm talking about, I haven't said anything about what lean actually is. And in this video, I'm not gonna go too deep into it. But let me just say one thing about lean. Lean is about discovering waste and fixing what bugs you. So when we discover waste and we fix what bugs us, then we can make what we're doing more enjoyable, more fun, and more efficient. And the more efficient helps make it easier for us so that we can enjoy it more and we can enjoy our lives more. So we're starting this journey. We've been doing it now for a few months um, and we're starting to see little things. And it's, Paul Akers wrote a book called Two Second Lean. All right, and I highly recommend you go get this book, Two Second Lean. Uh, you can go to paulacres.net and you can download the, the um, PDF of it for free. I think you might even be able to get an audio from it of it for free there. Uh, but he gives this stuff away and that's kind of where we started. But what Two Second Lean is all about is if you can save two seconds in the things that you do every day, what a difference that makes. And if you do that every day, you make an improvement to save two seconds every day. Now, when you look at that, the first thing you think is, yeah, but that's manufacturing and that's what he does. He's a manufacturer. But it doesn't have to be manufacturing two seconds, right? Like one of the first lean little things that I did, one of the things that bugs me, and I'm gonna play a little video of this uh, at the end of this video so that you can see what I did, but I have this headset because now in, in this COVID world, I need to wear a headset pretty much all day long because I'm talking to people and if I have it out on the speakers, it bothers everybody else, not to mention the fact that you know my clients would like to be private. Um, and that headset, you know, it's got this wire and basically I'm just kind of setting the headset down anywhere on my desk and it's always in the way and I'm always having to move it. And I came up with an idea what if I could just hang it out of the way? So, as we wrap up this session of Business Success with Doug Barra, just take a look at this one little tiny improvement that I did. And let me tell you that it made a huge difference. So, next couple of weeks, we're going to be talking about a couple of different things having to do with this whole topic because there's a world of things we can talk about about it. And I'm not even going to cover it in just a couple of weeks that I'm going to talk about it. But I look forward to seeing you on our next episode of Business Success with Doug Barra. And by the way, if you enjoyed this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next week. Okay, so here is my two-second lean sort of thing. Um, these are my headsets that I use when I'm working and they're kind of like a pain is where I'm going to put them. Uh, and so what I've done is I've hung a paper clip underneath my desk. I've actually wire wrapped the cord for the headset and now I could just hang the headset right there so it's out of my way yep when I am ready to use them I just reach down pull them off and put them on my head when I'm done just reach under hang them and they're neat and clean and out of the way <laughs>